All right, y'all. It's B Bridges 100 here again, doing another unboxing. I actually already did, as you can tell from the package here. <laughs> I did it on camera, but uh, I had a problem with the video and it didn't record right. So here I am doing this again. We'll just pretend like I have not cut into this yet. I just received it today. It is from uh, another YouTuber at uh, the channel is Sir Jobin. It's S R J O B E N. Uh, he's another knife guy. He does a lot of stuff with um, Enlon B, San Renmu, the you know, Chinese knives, uh, the higher quality Chinese knives. And he also does a lot of work with uh, acid etching as of late on uh, on blades. And he does sell uh, a lot of gear, uh, outdoor gear, not just knives, but uh, lighters, uh, knives, and all kinds of things. You can look it up. Uh, he's got an eBay store called uh, Lazy Lizard Gear. So highly recommend checking that out. If you haven't checked out his channel, uh, Sir Jobin. Uh, I recommend checking that out also and subscribing to it. He does do some great videos. Uh, and while I'm on the subject, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do that. Why not? Why not subscribe? Because uh, I'll tell you, if I start getting subscribers, I, I really like to get a lot of them so I can start doing some giveaways. You know, a lot of uh, other channels do these giveaways, and I don't want to be the guy who's sitting here. Uh, doing all this and not not giving a little bit more back. I feel like I could give more, and I'd like to. So, in order to do that, I'll need some subscribers. And uh, so, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. You might notice also that this is labeled as an unboxing rather than a yabo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did my last video. It took me forever. I toiled with whether or not to even use the term yabo. Uh, which I learned obviously from Jeff uh, Cutlery Lover and it's something that the pipe and cigar community I guess uses a lot finally I decided you know what if Cutlery Lover can use the term Yabo why can't I so I did that on my last unboxing video and uh, as soon as I uploaded that video I saw Jeff uploaded another one saying that he he's going to stop using it because it was uh, I guess bothering some YouTubers in the pipe community. So I won't use it anymore. I apologize if I've offended anybody. But uh, anyhow, back to the uh, unboxing here. I did receive this, like I said, from Lazy Lizard Gear, and it is the San Renmu 710, the black version. A little fireball on it. <laughs> I did a video previously about, uh, there was a video response to Cutlery Lover's Benchmade FPOS video talking about buyer beware when ordering from Chinese wholesalers. So I decided I'm going to buy this Chinese knife from an American retailer. And I did. Lazy Lizard Gear is uh, Job in there. He's out of Connecticut. I believe Manchester Connecticut yep Manchester Connecticut so from an American to an American and it, I'll tell you it got here super fast it was much better than waiting three weeks to a month for it uh, I ordered it on Friday and today is Monday I received it by 1030 in the morning on Monday morning super fast delivery I really appreciate that Jobin and I hope people watch this and will subscribe to your channel. Um, I did already open it, as I said, and I got my first impressions of it, kind of. Uh, got a nice sized lanyard hole if you wish to use it. Uh, pocket clip is uh, right hand carry, tip down only. But that's okay. It's, it's, it's a nice small knife, tip down I'm fine with. Uh, it's not like it's a, I'm going to be using it for any tactical purposes or self-defense or anything like that. So why not? It is a frame lock, as you see. Not going to do a review on it because I've never used the thing. I just opened it. I did notice, however, I don't know if you can tell, if you can see this, the blade, the grinding on the blade was not 
very good. Um, you can see how high the grind goes up here towards the tip on this side. And then if you turn it over, it's nowhere near as high on this side. So it's really, I mean, it's kind of hard to tell. But uh, it definitely looks lopsided. I mean, you got a much higher grind on one side and a lower one on the other side. Not a big deal, though. I mean, you know, I paid 12 bucks for it shipped, so it's really not a big deal. I, I, I think I can take the uh, sharpener to it and even that right out. So, anyhow, so far I'm extremely happy. I mean, the, the as long as uh, it took for me to get the wrong knife from China, it took, <laughs> you know, a tenth that time to get the right one from America. Uh, you know, came blade is just perfectly centered as you can see. Awesome. Good stuff. Not that it's super duper important, but you know, I mean, I like to see that. It shows that uh, somebody put a lot of thought into making this knife, and I really, I really appreciate that. But anyhow, that's it. That's my unboxing. Uh, sorry if it seems a little weird. Like I said, I did a better video before and it just didn't didn't record or something it didn't work out <laughs> so anyhow that's that check out Jobin's channel it's Sir Jobin S-R-J-O-B-E-N uh, check him out watch his videos order from Lazy Lizard Gear really good I, I, I can't complain about anything they, you know he was super fast and uh, super courteous so thanks again Jobin and guys thanks for watching and uh, again if you haven't subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for subscribe already come on so I can do a giveaway or something everyone likes giveaways you know anyway alright well again thanks for watching guys hope you have a good day and uh, stay tuned for more